today I'm going to be doing like a makeup beauty and a bit of fashion haul. Um, kind of a little bit of a random haul to be honest. Um, it's kind of things that I bought before Christmas, during Christmas and after Christmas. Kind of all in the past month really. Um, and I really like some of these bits so I thought I'd just talk you through them and kind of like show you what I've brought. The first two things are really really random but I thought I'd show you them because I just really like them. This first thing, my dad got me it for Christmas but it didn't arrive until like three weeks after or something. So he only gave it me last week and it's a little mini MacBook mirror. So it's like got the little Apple logo on it and then it's got like a little keyboard on the inside of a little mirror. I just really like it. I thought it was really, really cute. So yeah, he got me that. And then I also picked up these fine liners. Um, these were like off of eBay. I swear I ordered them in like November and they only just arrived like two days ago. So I don't really know what's going on with that. They were from China, like on a Chinese seller on eBay. Um, but I just looked at these some fine liners. So I got some more. Um, and I haven't actually tried these yet, but um, they're like really thin nibs and stuff. So yeah, they should be pretty cool. Um, I think they were quite cheap as well because they were from China. Um, I'll leave the link down below to those if I can still find it. Then just a few drugstore bits that I want to show you. I kind of just went into Superdrug before Christmas and just bought stuff for some strange reason. And Makeup Revolution was in my um, Superdrug at home. And the Superdrug at home is very small. There's hardly anything in there. And they put Makeup Revolution in there, which is pretty cool. So it's like, it's not a proper stand. It was like on like a turny thing so it just had like four sides you know like we got like when i don't know like two true does anyone remember that they used to have one of those like turny turn, turn style things and anyway makeup revolution was in there so i got one thing for makeup revolution and um, this is the thing that i got i got the pro fix amazing makeup fixing spray um and basically i just wanted to try it so i really like packaging it's got like rose gold on it so why wouldn't i like it um so yeah we well, just wanted to give this a go really i thought it just looked really nice um i use the urban decay um what's it called all night setting spray and um, i use it like occasionally but not every single day and i'm kind of running out of it so i thought i'd give this a go and i actually do really like it i don't think it makes a tremendous difference to my foundation that's staying on in the day but I do think it does make some sort of difference it doesn't make it stay on like 24 hours but it does give it that little bit longer um so yeah I definitely recommend giving this a go I didn't buy anything else because it was before Christmas and I was like I don't want to like buy eyeshadow palettes and then get eyeshadow palettes for Christmas and I'm really glad I didn't because if you watch my what I got for Christmas video you'll know that I have far too many eyeshadow palettes on Christmas anyway I then got two concealers from collection I got the collection last imperfection concealer because I haven't had this in quite a while I got it in the colour 2 Cool Medium, which is perfect for me at the moment. And I just haven't had this in ages, so I thought I'd pick it up again. Um, I don't know, I've just been really enjoying using this. I did get the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for Christmas. Um, and so I have been really enjoying using that, and I've been using that mostly. But just the past couple of days, I haven't really been doing much. Like, I've been doing my assignment and then popping out here and there to do little bits but not majorly seeing loads of people and whatever. So I've just been using this concealer. I don't really want to use the NARS one when I'm not really doing too much, so I just kind of use this one when I'm not doing that much, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and then I also got the Collection Illuminating Touch Brightening Concealer. But I got this in shade 1, which I'm really annoyed with, because basically I just thought, like, I'm paler now than I was in the summer. I'll just grab this shade because... I don't know, it's number one, it's the palest one, but it's really, really pink. It's basically like a salmon concealer. I don't, you're probably not gonna be able to see, but it's so pink toned. I don't know if you can see it like just here, um, but it's so pink toned. It's way too pink to put anything in my eyes. Well, I want anything underneath my eyes. I want something yellow and brightening. So this is a big no-no. Um, I've still kind of kept it in my drawers and used it occasionally, but it just didn't really work for me. So I need to go and pick up shade two, which, I don't know, it's just more of a neutral, normal, yellowy tone shade. I just don't get what they were doing with this. I then picked up the L'Oreal um, Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I had this in the summer, I don't know if you guys remember, but I absolutely adored this in the summer. And I had it in the colour like 20 sand because I was just so dark in the summer. So that really suited me, but that's the only shade I had. So I was like, oh, do you know what? I really want to go and pick up a lighter shade. So I picked up this one, which is number 13, Rose Beige. But again, it's a bit too pink for me. So it's just really annoying that it's too pink and you've got to go and buy another one. And I don't know, it's just really frustrating because I can deal with them if they're slightly like, I don't know, too dark or too light. But when they're like completely the wrong tone of foundation, I find it really difficult to work with. I can still use this, but I think I was using this and using this pink concealer at the same time, and I just looked a bit too pink. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this in my drawer, um, but I definitely need to go and pick up another one, which means I have three of the same foundation in different shades. It's just ridiculous. Onto a better product is this one that I brought from Superdrug, and literally 
literally, I am in love with it. This is the B Makeup Brush Cleanser. Now, as I say all the time, the super drug in my hometown is very small, so there's no counter of like B, but where the makeup brushes are, this was there. And I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna give this a go. This is so good. This is like a spot cleanser, not like a full on brush cleanser. I use baby shampoo to like full on clean my brushes. I'll like pop a little bit of baby shampoo in my hand, pop the brush underneath the water and swirl it in my hand and then dry it off. With this one, basically, to get off, it's kind of to just spot clean them, basically. And I use this, like, every couple of uses that I've used a brush. It's very good for, like, eye brushes when you kind of put, I don't know, like, a really dark eyeshadow on an eye brush. And you want to then use it to use, like, I don't know, a highlight shade. And you need to clean it. You just actually spray a little bit of this on and then swirl it in, like, a flannel. Or you could use, like, a paper towel or something. But, like, swirl it in the, I oh, don't know, whatever you're using. Um, and all the product comes off. And it just looks perfectly clean. I've even used this on foundation brushes I get to a point when I just have all of my foundation brushes that I just can't use because it's just too much foundation on the brush for them to even be beneficial for me to use I think you know what I mean I don't know you just get to a point where they're just so caked in foundation you can't even use them um, so it's good to have this to just kind of get rid of some of that foundation off of the brush as you can see I really like it I then picked up these two, which were just like a repurchase. This one's the La Roche-Posay Effaclade Duo Plus. Um, and I ran out of this. I use this every single morning as part of my skincare routine. For me, this is really, really good at kind of getting rid of spots on my face and also just making pimples not come up on my skin. Um, I find that just using this just kind of, I don't know, makes everything nice. Um, and it's just really good for like spot prevention. Um, if you want me to do kind of an everyday or evening or morning skincare routine, then let me know because I am quite passionate about my skincare. And this was another thing I picked up. This is the Origins Super Spot Remover. I absolutely love this. It's very dinky and very small, but it's my favourite spot remover. And I hadn't brought this for a while. I didn't have a spot remover for quite a while. And also, I just need it back in my life. So I purchased these at the same time off of Boots' website. So I have them in my life now. The star of the show in this haul has got to be this. This is Becca Champagne Pop. And if you don't watch my um, vlogs, then you probably haven't known that I kind of have got this. Um, I absolutely love this. It's so beautiful. I was flicking through my emails, and it was kind of like mid to end November. Um, and there was a Look Magazine email that basically just said the highlighter everyone wants. And I was like, oh, what's this? Clicked on it, and I never click on those emails really because I always think it's kind of like clickbait. So I clicked on it, and I was like, oh, I'll just have a little look. And it was like Becca Champagne Pop comes to the UK. I was like, what? So I pre ordered it on Space NK, so I was really grateful for that email. Thanks, Look Magazine. Um, because I feel like I don't really know if it's sold out now, but I'm just glad that I got it because I don't think I would have if there wasn't that thing of like, oh my god, it's going to sell out. So anyway, I got this. It's so beautiful. I've never had a Becca highlighter before, and they're just so pretty. Like, look how gorgeous that is. And everyone had just raved about this for so long and I was like I definitely need that in my life um, and I was not keen on the Becca packaging and I'm still not really because it just looks like a shield uh, but it is very weighty it feels nice like it's got like a rubberized finish and it just it's a nice makeup product to have so yeah I like that quite a lot. If you've seen my What I Got For Christmas video, you will have seen that I got kind of a little set of Laura Geller products. And I had fallen in love with the blusher in pink grapefruit. It was like the best thing ever. I've used it so much over like Christmas. Um, anyway, and I had to like return something. It was a Christmas present and it was returned to Debenhams. It was like a piece of clothing that necessarily didn't really fit. Um, so I exchanged it for this, which is the Laura Geller uh, Blush and Brighten in Roseberry. So it's a different shade to the pink grapefruit one. And I just love these formulas. They're so nice. Um, and this packaging is really cute as well. Like, I don't know, I just really like it. There's a lot of product in here, five grams. And yeah, I just really like it. This is what it looks like. But yeah, really, really super pretty. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with that. I don't know, I feel like I'm really, really getting to Laura Geller now because I don't know, just the stuff that I got over Christmas that little set was just so good. I then picked up this on such a whim. I was literally on Feel Unique and I was like, yeah, I'll have it. This is the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette. Um, and I think... It's in the colour Naked, I think, because I know they've got, like, three different ones of these. And this is what it looks like. The packaging's really nice as well. It's like a purpley taupey colour like the colour of the actual packaging um, and this is what it looks like so you've got a bronzer, a highlighter and a blush and I don't really know why I picked this up this has never really interested me that much I never really thought I really want that but I'm so glad I brought it I used it today for the first time because it only got delivered a couple of days ago 
and the bronzer is lovely, really, really nice. The highlighter is really nice, and the blush is really nice. And I used it always when I was actually quite shocked as to how much I really liked it. I think this is about £22. I think that's what I paid for it. I just bought it on Feel Unique when I was like flicking through their website after Christmas. But yes, um, I don't know, I'm just really surprised how much I like it. Then just thought I'd show you something that I got from New Look. Actually, all three clothing items are from New Look. And this, this is the first thing. These are two separate things, um, but I, they just are on the same hanger. <laughs> um, so the first one here is this polo neck. This was um, $8.99, um, and I just really like this. It's really, really nice shade. It's like this, like, rusty brown colour. Then on top of here, I have a... Look how white I look, like a ghost. Um, on top of here, I have a pinafore from New Look, and this is just what it looks like. Um, I don't know, I really like this. It's, like, blue with, like, a check through it. Um, it's got two pockets down the bottom and it just looks really nice together and on the back it's got kind of like a I don't know what back you'd call this but it looks like that anyway <laughs> um I haven't actually worn this yet as you can see the tags are still on it uh, but I bought this like last week and I just really like it and the last thing that I got is my bargain I got this in the sale this is the only thing that I did actually get in the sale and it is this you can't actually see what it is I'm gonna just do it up but it's a cake and I got this from New Look um and basically New Look's like the only good shop in our entire town at home <laughs> so me and I'm always going there and looking for a sale and oh my god the sale there was so good this year they had stuff for like one pound like I don't think that's ever happened um, anyway, looks like this, and it's this cape, and I'm pretty sure Brogan Tate has got it. I brought it, and then was watching a vlog, I was like, hang on, that's the same cape that I've got. Anyway, so it's got, like, a fur hood like this, I don't know if you see, so it's, like, black, and it's got, like, fur here, and then it, like, comes down, and it's got, like, a little, like, clasp. I don't know what clasp you would call this, but it's basically where the thing just goes in the other thing, like, if that makes sense. Anyway, and that's the only clasp of the whole coat, and then it just kind of goes down and opens up it's really difficult to show but it's basically just the cape um and it's got kind of like arm bits that you can put your arms in so that's good because i feel like the you know like the blanket capes you put on that i don't have a clasp don't have arms they're basically just like a huge scarf they're great but i prefer it when it's in like an actual coat um so i am in love with that i've been wearing it so much so that is the end of my haul video for you guys and um, i feel like it's a bit rambly i haven't filmed in a while and i feel like i'm a bit all over the place so i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you haven't before the button's just down below i'd really appreciate it and please give this video a big thumbs up i never really asked that from you guys but i love seeing big thumbs up from you guys and also um lots of comments so yeah if you like to leave a comment please do and i will speak to you next time Bye.